the communist utopia of Cuba, the place that's been endorsed by Jeremy Corbyn, Ash Sarkar, Owen Jones, Aaron Bastani, and a lot of historic leaders of uh, the British left and the American left. Uh, now, we, of course, we have AOC in America and others who are still defending and supporting uh, Cuba. We have the Black Lives Matter organization still defending and supporting Cuba and Venezuela. Uh, yet, there are people out there in Cuba, ordinary people, young people, pro-capitalist and pro-democracy sides, coming out finally because they're sick and tired of the situation that's been imposed onto them by the communists and the leadership in Cuba. But the way it's now being reported is that when the mainstream media are talking about this, they're simply calling them just random protesters. They're just protesters against the government. Well, firstly, the way the economic situation has actually happened over the last few decades has not helped their, their case. Living standards, very low. There's no inequality in Cuba because everybody is equally poor. Uh, the left are now blaming it on the American sanctions. <laughs> Interestingly enough, because Americans have been imposing sanctions on a number of countries historically, and it does make things difficult, but it doesn't bring down the country and the economy that way. The only way it could bring it down is if the government, like the Cuban government or the Venezuelan government, also make a mess. And of course, the American sanctions will trigger a collapse. But the American sanctions would not on its own collapse any economy. It's, it doesn't work that way. You could still be like North Korea. Close your doors, despite the sanctions, make your own way. And of course, in North Korea as well, people don't really have any rights or freedom. And, and actually, they're running out of food as well in, in North Korea. Uh, but the, the chaos that you're seeing on the streets of Cuba, just like what, what we saw in Venezuela before, is very, very different. Do not just randomly say it's America. Look at this. protests and the marches we've been seeing in the streets of Cuba over the last uh, few days, couple of days, have been huge. This, like, we've already seen, like in the past, smaller uh, kind of uh, side projects and protests by uh, certain uh, people over the last few decades. This is very, very different because now you're seeing the poor, you're seeing the middle classes or the middle class version of uh, Cubans are all out together. And the police, the brutality that we're seeing from the forces, can you blame that on America? Ash Sarkar and the others and BLM who are coming out to blame everything on the Americans and, of course, the Westerners in general, saying it's the sanctions. Okay, what about the way the police are dealing with the protesters? All these Labour MPs who were against uh, the uh, Priti Patel's uh, policing uh, bill recently, saying that, well, it's going to take away people's rights to protest. What about people's rights to protest in Cuba? You're still defending the Cuban government, and that's what I care about. And that's the problem we have. Joe Biden. Where is Joe Biden? Well, we know where he is. What he's doing is he's saying that the Cuban refugees who are trying to leave Cuba, come to America to survive, they're not welcome. He's already said, if they try to get into the country, we're going to reject them. We're not going to let them in. That's the same compassionate and liberal Joe Biden who was uh, criticizing uh, Donald Trump's policy on Mexican illegal uh, migrants. Somehow, no, 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 we don't want the capitalist Cubans coming here because if they come here, they're not going to vote for the Democrats. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, even that short clip, I don't, I don't even notice we have to censor it and edit it a bit because otherwise we can't really post it on YouTube. Uh, we are going to be talking about on this show all the global developments and events from Cuba, Iran, South Africa, and France and everywhere, and a number of other things with the, the authoritarian plans in this country. So if you want to watch the full and uncensored version of this, this is actually, you cannot miss this show today's show. Go to myatc.co.uk. You get access to this show and much more, the daily shows, as well as the news articles that we update throughout the day. Thanks again for watching. I'm Maya TC, and I'll see you guys in the next video.